I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. For you, I'm going to do a little happy dance like this. working I'm not asking you to You're come home
Wow. <laughs> One of the greatest, 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 greatest points in history is the birth of Jesus of Nazareth. Mary had to travel to Bethlehem because of an order from the Roman emperor that a census or a record of all the people had to be taken in their hometown. After traveling pregnant on a donkey for several days, Mary and Joseph arrived in Bethlehem and were told that there was no place to stay. Everything was full. All the hotels were full. Seeing that Mary was due at any moment, an owner of an inn told Joseph that they could stay in his stable. Mary and Joseph settled down on the hay in a stable with animals sleeping. Mary went into labor and Jesus was born in a stable. The only place for the sleeping baby to rest was most likely in the animal's tro, known as the manger. It was where the animals would feed. During this time, an angel appeared to the shepherds who were watching their flocks in the fields near Bethlehem. And the angel told them the good news of the birth of the Savior and the Messiah, Jesus Christ. The shepherds immediately went to find baby Jesus, which the angels told them they would find sleeping in a manger. After some time, three wise men, also known as Magi, saw the brilliant star in that sky that rested over where Jesus was born. It's very interesting that the Bible calls that star, it says, his star. The three wise men traveled from far eastern countries to find the new king. During the wise men's trip, Herod the king of Judah met with the wise men and told them to come back and let him know where the baby king was so that he could come and worship him as well. The wise men continued to Bethlehem and found Jesus right where the star pointed. They knelt and they worshipped the Savior and gave him gifts of gold, frankincense, and myrrh. Then they traveled back home a different way knowing that the king was not intending to worship Jesus, but intending to kill him. Today we celebrate the birth of Jesus and the coming of our Savior at Christmas time. What are some of your family traditions during Christmas? And how do you worship Jesus at Christmas? Merry Christmas. Jesus is the reason for the season. Please make yourself comfortable in your seat and begin to relax. Take in a deep breath and let the breath fall away. Now, in a moment, you're going to hear the sound of singing crystal bowls. This is a deeply relaxing sound. Just imagine the sound washing over you from your crown to your toes. Feel the sound begin to relax your body. Relax the muscles of your eyes. Part your teeth 
and allow your jaw to relax. As the sound of the singing bowls flows over you, feeling like warm sun on a lovely day, feel your shoulders relax and let the sound wash down your arms to your fingertips and down your spine, relaxing the muscles of your back. Just let yourself go, more and more relaxed in every moment, as the sound washes all the way down over your legs to the tips of your toes. Feel your body experiencing waves and waves of soothing, relaxing sound, healing and renewing you deeply into the cells of your body as you become more and more relaxed. Just let yourself float on the sound, lighter, and lighter and lighter still. Be light and free and deeply relaxed. Now in a moment, take a deep breath and as you breathe out, have a gentle stretch. You're feeling confident and energized strong and relaxed and ready to enjoy a wonderful day.